the stairs. Rude. Hey guys, so with how busy I've been, I've kind of lost track of that whole spiel where I just really wanted to test a bunch of foundations and find a new really good one because I still have yet to. I have yet to find that one that's just like, this does things for my skin. So before leaving work the other day, I grabbed three samples for three different foundations that I really wanted to try. This one in particular, I have been hyped up. I have been so hyped up and excited to try it, but the spores around me, they just haven't really had it in stock and just saw them the other day. So you know I had to grab some, and that is the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. If you know me, you know I love, I love Becca products so much. Or highlighters are my favorite things in the planet. I can't live without them. I've been really, really excited for this foundation. Uh, let's hop on to the Sephora website to see what they've got to say about this foundation and then we can just jump right into application. The Becca Aqualumis Perfecting Foundation retails for $44, which is kind of a little pricey. Most foundations are, I'd say around $40, so $44, it, it is not too bad. It comes in eight different shades, which is a little rough. That is something I've heard about this foundation, that finding one that goes well with your skin is difficult. It is a light, buildable liquid foundation that imparts subtle luminosity with a weightless feel. As I already said, this foundation feels ultra light and it's buildable and even perfects your complexion. Every weightless drop of fluid imparts subtle luminosity that blurs imperfections and leaves a soft, focused glow. This foundation features a curated array of eight flexible shades that flatter all skin tones. That is what it claims. We'll see about the whole flattering all skin tone things, the blurring perfections. We'll find out about whether it's buildable or not. I applied it all earlier, so let's skip to that clip and then I will let you know my final thoughts. So I've already exfoliated, moisturized, and primed my skin. If you're curious as to which primers I'm using, I have used the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer as well as the Becca Backlight Filter. So uh, I guess we're getting hella illuminated on my fucking face today. These are my two samples of the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. I've got it in light and fair. Uh, fair looked a little bit too light for my skin, but then light looked a little bit too dark. That is one of the main issues that I've heard about with this new Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation is that the shades are kind of slightly out of whack. So I'm going to um, dot both of these all over my face. As usual, I'm going to do half of my face this face, this side, with a beauty blender and this side with a brush. I haven't quite decided which brush to use yet. This is my beauty blender and this is the brush I'm going to be using. It is the Morphe M439. I'm probably going to do the brush side first, I suppose. This is a like light and liquidy foundation. It's trying to drop off my finger and I just got it all over my... Yep. Now this is supposed to be more sheer light coverage. It's supposedly buildable. We will see about that. I didn't think that these samples were gonna do much for me. And I was gonna be sad with half a face, but it seems to seems to be enough for now. Oh no! My hair. Cat, can you move? You're disturbing the piece. Get off my nail here. Okay, so that was the light. No, that was the fair. And now I'm gonna dot some of the light. Because of the consistency, consist <laughs> consistency, I'm going to press and then buff with my brush. Oh lord. Hmm. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna have to blend this way down. Way, way down. It actually seems to be looking better with the brush than what I usually like with these liquidier foundations. Mmm, already around the nose. Not a fan. Just not applying too great to my nose, but the rest of the face, you know, it has a lot more coverage than I was expecting. I'm hoping you can see it. I can hardly tell through my viewfinder, but this foundation side, this is the non-foundation side, and I definitely see a difference for light coverage. This is a lot more than I was expecting. So now we're going to try with the Beauty Blender. I definitely did not need that mixture of the light in here. That made it... It actually doesn't look bad. It makes my face match my body. I think the problem is my face and my neck are just... My face, my neck, and my chest are just way too light compared to the rest of me. You know what? No. 
it's not doing well on my nose at all. What is up with that? There's the foundation applied. I'm gonna come a little bit closer and hopefully you can see what I'm talking about on my nose. So here I am closer. I am probably going to try to add a little bit more coverage around here and I think you can see what's going on on my nose. It looks strangely patchy, but it is definitely luminous. So the finish is something that I am really, really enjoying in that sense. Like I said, I'm gonna try to build a little bit more coverage. I'm using Just The Fair. Let me tell you that if this foundation does not work well, I'm gonna be really disappointed. <laughs> I'm stupid. Ever since I heard about this, I've been hyped. Like, foundation from Becca that isn't super matte? I need it. I really want this to wow me. And so far, It's upsetting to say that it's not. It builds all right. Um, you know, you're definitely still gonna get light coverage. I, I'm just not someone that needs a lot of coverage, so this is okay for me. I was really thinking it was going to be super sheer, not just a good light. I am now gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup, my whole face mask deal, and then I will be right back. So here is my face after finishing my makeup. I'm gonna have to be honest with you, I cheated a little bit. I actually wiped all the foundation off and re-exfoliated my face. Cause I mean, I thought like, okay, like I thought the foundation was trying to do a girl a service. Like, I think, I thought, I thought it was trying to tell me like, bitch, you still got nasty ass dead skin on your face. Drop the beauty blender and go take care of that. But I will have you know that that, it really didn't help much of anything with that situation so but I just had to let y'all know that's what I did this foundation y'all I <sighs> all right look um I gotta go to work so this is my face for today I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day I am going to periodically check in with you I'm gonna have my vlogging camera with me I'm gonna let you know what's up and then I will come back towards the end I will talk to you a little bit about this foundation and then I will let you know my final thoughts I got a feeling I already know what I'm gonna say Damn it, Becca! Shit. I am in shorts and a motherfucking tank top right now. I could be sitting outside getting a tan, but instead I gotta go to work. Okay, so real quick, since I have been wearing my sunglasses this whole time, um, I want to see how the foundation does under like the uh, nose pads. So, moment of truth. Let's not pull my hair so much. There seems to be a little bit of foundation on the glasses. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yep. I'll look in the mirror right quick. Uh-uh. Oh no. Oh no. Can I just rub that? Back up. Back, back, back. Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation and glasses, nose pads are a big no-go. I totally forgot to let you guys know when I first started recording, recording and applied this foundation. It was 10.30 in the morning. It is now 1.30 in the afternoon. I did have a little bit of input from the people that I work with. I actually didn't say anything. I didn't mention that I was trying a new foundation. I happened to be sitting by the door where the light was like shining very directly on me and they were like, you look like you're wearing a lot of makeup today. And I was like, well, and they said, to be honest, it kind of looks like paint. I was like, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm trying a new foundation. I guess that gives you a little bit of idea, a little bit of an idea of what it might look like to other people. And to be honest, I'd kind of agree at this point in time. I've got dry skin and it might be because it's hot, but I actually feel a little bit oily around my nose, which is strange because I do have dry skin. Oh, that's cute. Can you see? like how do i describe this to you it's like foundation flaking off so that's cute um i will check in with you again whenever i next have a chance or if anything changes why does my bra always want to be in my videos just a really quick update it is 3 30. i hope you can see this like really hope do you see that that's the foundation i happen to just go like that and it's like rolling off. I took a picture actually so I will insert that picture here. 
now. That's that's fucking gross. That's never happened to me with the foundation before, ever. It's fucking weird, dude. That's fucking weird. It is 5.30 in the afternoon right now. As you can see, I'm looking pretty, pretty fucking shiny to the point where it's beyond just being luminous and looking oily all over. And I don't want to touch up because I don't touch up my foundation ever. I never powder, repowder, I never touch up anything. Ever. So I'm not gonna do that with this. I'm, I wasn't expecting this. I'm probably only gonna check in one more time and that's when I end this video. I will see you in like a second. Jump, cut, yeah. Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. Becca, Becca, Becca. First of all, I have been wearing this all day. It is now, it is almost 10 o'clock. It is 9.46, which means I've been wearing it almost 12 hours, uh, 11 to 12 hours. Let's get like the final closer look at my face. So this is the situation. I know the lighting is strange, sorry. The strange flakiness has gotten better, but that's only because my skin be looking way too shiny. I have a lot to say about this foundation. Um, so, uh, okay, let's start with the pros. You know, it does have a very luminous, glowy finish, which personally, I think is beautiful. Secondly, it is extremely, extremely weightless. I feel like you've got nothing on your face at all. Okay, that's it. That, that, that's it for the pros. The cons. Um, if you have dry skin, dry patches at all, this is not the foundation for you. This is, don't, don't do it, don't, it ain't gonna work. You all saw that it was just patchy and flaky and looked like my skin was coming off my face. My face looked like it was melting off my face. Secondly, the colors are actually a problem. You saw that the mixture of fair and light was way too orange for me. So then I had to go with just fair. Even then, that was still a little bit too dark and I had to blend it down my neck. At one point in time, I, I'm not fair. I know on camera I look fair, but I am not fair. I am really not that pale. I make jokes about being extremely pale. I'm not that pale. In what world is fair my skin tone? It's not. So if fair is too dark for me, if you fair, it's really not going to work for you. I'm not too sure about the deeper complexions. I didn't try them out. I'm not sure if they go dark enough. That, that's something that someone else is going to have to try. Although, yes, it is a luminous finish. What happened? You can see how shiny my face is. I do not have oily skin under any circumstances. And I know it was really hot today, but I don't tend to sweat on my face. I haven't been. So I don't know what's happening here. Although you can still see my blush, it is patchy. It's completely missing like right, there's this, this weird line, weird line. I can't tell if my highlight's still there or if that's the foundation being shiny. It seems to have patched off around my nose. And then another thing which I showed you a clip and a picture of, if I so happen to touch anywhere the foundation's at, it like, you're not gonna be able to see, it crumbles to the touch, which is the weirdest thing I've ever, ever, ever experienced with foundation. I, I don't know what that is. Becca, oh my, Becca, what the, what is this? <sighs> I need to breathe, I need to breathe for a second. I am so deeply, disappointed you you don't know how badly i wanted to love this foundation i've been so excited for it so so excited for it not just because it is becca brand but because aqua luminous you know it sounds beautiful it sounds perfect it sounds exactly what i was looking for it was just too good to be true that's what it was would i actually go out and purchase this product absolutely not absolutely not would i recommend this to other people well everybody's skin is a little bit different you might have better luck with this than I do. However, if you have dry skin whatsoever, do not do it. Don't, I'm telling y'all, don't do it. Just, you saw what was going on. I even re-exfoliated, re-moisturized, and it almost got worse. The patchy dry, it, don't do it. If you've got oiler skin, as someone with dry skin, you see what's going on. I am very, very shiny. I didn't touch up at all. That's not my thing, so I guess it could be a lot worse. But I am very shiny, so maybe if you have oily skin, I don't know, try a mattifying primer and then put this on top, maybe it'll work for you. Normal skin, I don't see any reason for you to not try it. Get yourself a sample before buying the bottle. 
Becca, I think you need to go back to the drawing board with this one. Because reformulate, do something, boo-boo, because what the fuck? Alright, so that's about it. Shit, I'm so mad. I don't even know how to end this. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. I hope that I was able to help you if you were interested or looking to buy this foundation. Don't forget to hit the button down below to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Or one point with that description. It is a beautiful color. It is so hard for me to find reds that look good on me, especially now that I've got red hair. But this color